Welcome back to Foulmouth Fishing. I got a goodie bag. Um, if you're on my uh, if you're on my Twitter feed, you probably got a tweet and uh, figured out where I was today. Um, so I'm gonna take my coat off, take a load off, and show you what I got today. So I just came back from um, a little road trip. I went to my old middle school. Uh, I was lucky enough to spend sixth, seventh, and eighth grade there. And uh, I guess it's elementary school, middle school, middle school. Eh. But uh, <laughs> back in uh, Manahawkin, New Jersey, where I grew up. Um, so I was on the island, and the mainland school was uh, Southern Regional District, and I went to school there. So I spent 7th, uh, 8th, eighth, 9th, eighth, 10th, 11th, and of course senior year high school down that neck of the woods. <clears throat> but they have, every year, a little expo. They have a series of tables set up in the, in the small school, and there's about 100, 115 tables with uh, different anglers, uh, people who produce their own baits and things like that. So I took a long drive back to my alma mater and uh, paid a small entrance fee, which all gets donated to help support the Southern Regional Fishing Team for the kids out there that are going to be future anglers. But uh, I figured I'd show you what I came back with. Uh, so while I was down there, I got some goodies. Um, we'll start off with pretty much the, the mainstay kind of normal stuff. So I picked up for my saltwater angling. Uh, this is a little Hopkins jigging eel. Alright. It's got a nice little soft eel tail, a little bucktail uh, jig with a head. This is a 8 inch 7 knot hook uh, jigging eel. Um, casting and jigging and trolling. So this is good. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I could throw this in fresh water. It's gonna. It's a heavy, uh, heavy enough weight. I'm gonna say it's about maybe three quarters of an ounce. Yeah, about three quarters of an ounce. It's a pretty, pretty substantial head on it. But uh, I figure I can get that down there to depth. Maybe I can catch something off, off the beaten trail. Um, I picked me up a couple of these uh, soft plastic swim baits. These bigger varieties, the stout hooks, for when I go to catch monster fish. Because I don't just fish for panfish. <laughs> but uh, I enjoyed that. Speaking of panfish, while I was there, a gentleman at the table for a dollar a piece had these great little itsy bitsy, almost like a uh, trout magnet. Let's see if I can open this tube. Get you a better look at this guy. So it's this teeny little jig head, great little action, a little twitching action on the tail. It's sort of a, a no, it's not a boot tail, but it's sort of like a, a, a conical tail on the end. Um, I figured this is going to go great with my trout magnet setup that I have. These are a little different than the trout magnets, but I got them in pretty much the staple trout colors that I swim, which is, uh, of course, black for the muddier water. I got a, a red, near trans, translucent, almost transparent red. Of course, white. This one came with a little pink jig head. And my go-to crystal with a silver gold flake inside. I'll take this one out because I'm pretty sure it's not very visible on the camera. So we'll get a little closer look at the flake without the glare from the tube that it comes in. But there's that little boot tail. Focus. So, that one, I think, is definitely going to catch me some trout. Um, so I figured I'd pick those up. They were only a dollar each. So that was a pretty good buy. And actually, he gave me a deal for, for buying so many. Um, aside from that, I got me some... 10 knot size 10 treble hooks for a future project which you shall see in an upcoming video. These are my big monster mustads and these are razor sharp. Razor sharp sticky sticky. So I'll set those aside so I don't end up impaling myself today. <laughs> Uh, other than that, um, there was a guy by the name of Cranky Crete, and he has uh, www.crankycrete.com, and he does hand-tied uh, rigs. There's his 
little information. And I picked up some flounder rigs off of him, which, believe it or not, I like to go out salt, salt water fishing every now and again. So, these are little squids, little squid jigs. He does these preset, comes with your little spinner, your little Colorado blade, some beads, the hook's already attached. I got one in pink, uh, and then I got the rest in the white. But the thing about these are, these are all glow. These are all glow in the dark. Uh, this is a smaller version, little black painted on eyes. Let's see if I get closer. You can see the painted on eye. And then, of course, there's the... I picked these up as backups for the one that I got there. And these eyes protrude along with the little winglets. Um, I might even try this freshwater just to have... Because it's got such an action, maybe I'll, I'll uh, rig it with a little weight on the bottom and have it hop around. I'm thinking maybe that might trigger some strikes. Maybe a bass will go for something like this. I don't know. I never tried using a... I mean, similar to a tube, which I will also get to shortly. <laughs> um, so that was that. That was, uh, again, that gentleman's name is uh, Cranky Creek. He does some great soft plastics. Um, those were his flounder rigs. And then I went to some hards because I, I was looking to get some hard baits because I wanted to go down there. Um, to be honest, I think I'm going to go musky hunting again uh, come a couple of months from now. And uh, certainly during the fall when they start musky uh, fishing again. So I picked up some handmade solid. This one's a little popper head. I just that, that color got me, and I like the fact that he's got a little Malibu uh, Marabou flash and some hair on the end as a trailer. But that brown just caught my eye, and he's got the little goofy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to little goofy wiggly eyeballs in it. Um, gentleman also made this one. This is his 18. I think this is a little, it's just different. You know, it's got little, he's got little teeth put in there with steel pins uh, to make little teeth. Again, he's got that wiggly, googly eye uh, thing. So this gentleman just handcrafts them. Solid blocks of wood. He'll carve them down, mill them, sand them, paint them up, and coat them. And then this gentleman, um, another table, different table, caught my eye. This is uh, Poppy's Pride www.poppiespridefishing.com, all one word. Uh, give you his little logo right there. This guy, this guy knows his baits. Um, this is a 2.3 ounce, two to four foot diving, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful handcrafted wooden bait. Super sharp treble, trebles. He doesn't skimp on hardware. Um, he uses one of the highest grade, um, and this is not him telling me this. This is just my own personal knowledge. Uh, he uses one of the highest grade uh, two-part epoxy clear coats. He's not one of those people that go to Harbor Freight or Lowe's and gets the five-minute epoxy tubes, you know, where you have the two tubes and you just squeeze it, mix it up, and, and throw it together. This is an actual, you know, by-the-gallon hard, hard coat. So, uh... His paint is is absolutely amazing. This is this is a rock solid paint job, and it's very uh, you know for a handcrafted guy, a small outfit, he's putting a lot more of his funds into producing baits that'll last a hundred years, not so much just you know to sell baits. Um, if you see, his hardware is absolutely bar none phenomenal. The way he rigs them, and you see he's even coped out and got a. A cove in there for his treble to be on a spinner so it's not going to be just a treble on a split ring it actually will rotate in that cup and that's something you rarely ever see in in uh, homemade bait so it's a solid line through production the cup with the uh, the barrel swivel in there attached and that is a rock solid bait I'm gonna have fun uh, throwing this for pike musky Maybe a big bass. I doubt it. Is <laughs> maybe hey, you never know. Where I fish, there are uh, you know six, eight, ten pound bass are not uncommon. Um, I don't think anything over twelve has been caught out of the lake. 
but uh, you know, six, eight, and ten aren't that uncommon. Four, four, five is the most common weight. Um, but hey, I'll give anything a whirl. So while I was down there uh, enjoying, I donated, of course, to the uh, to the kids and their fishing club. It started roughly in the 2000s uh, for my alma mater, and I just I was blown away by some of the craftsmanship of some of these guys, specifically this gentleman um, at Poppy's Pride. Uh, this gentleman, unfortunately, didn't have any cards, uh, but this was, I just like this guy's paint scheme. I, the googly eyes is kind of more catch the fisherman than catch the fish, um, but, uh, but that caught my eye, so I figured what the hell. And of course, even if I never catch a fish on it, like those goofy teeth, that, that looks just nice as a, as a showpiece. Um, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to make this quick video when I got home. Um, took off my coat and took a load off and, and just wanted to share with you what I did and hope that if you know that your alma mater, where you grew up, started a fishing club, if you know that uh, the rec center, um, the CYO, has a fishing club, um, or even if you can get with your local municipality, uh, specifically the police departments. I mean, there's a lot of kids out there, kids from adoptions, kids from high crime areas. Go and be proactive. See about your local municipality. Now, I mean, I'm driving back to my home. Uh, we have them also here where I live now. But I drove back specifically because, again, this is where I went to school. But support youth fishing. Donate a couple bucks. Get in contact with the police departments and your mayor's office. See if in your region you can start a fishing club, work together with the locals, uh, you know, to try to create a small fishing community for youth. Get them out of trouble. Get them doing something with nature. Get them out of the Xbox and the PS4, and I'm guilty. I got a PS4 Pro right on the other side of this camera. Um, but get yourself out there to do things for nature and help the community. So I just wanted to touch base with you, show what I bought today. Um, and I hope this uh, video was an insight insightful and a little bit enjoyable. So uh, have a good one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, definitely hit that bell notification and share the video. Comment down below if you liked any of these lures. Um, I'm certainly, you're going to see hopefully a, a couple of videos with me out there throwing things like this. Uh, and I, I hope uh, I entertained you a little bit. So have a good day and a good weekend. God bless.